Is 75k the absolute best you can do? No. Up, Me and my girls, we have been out in foreign things. Prime time, my nigga, my time. Tryna get at me, but who ain't nigga waiting now? We ain't come here for this. Most of these bitches ain't built like this. Alright, you guys, so after doing my research and just crunching numbers and just making it all make sense, I finally came to a decision as to what I want to offer the seller. It's now 5 5 20 p.m. And I'm feeling extra good. Like, you know, sometimes when it comes to stuff like this, you know, I usually get nervous. But since I've been doing this for a minute, I'm kind of used to it. I kind of know, you know, what the vibes is going to be like. It's always like super intense when it comes to like negotiation and talking to sellers and stuff like that. So I'm already kind of in that space where I prepared myself to just be ready for whatever. I feel like I built a lot of rapport with her just from the first phone call we had to meeting her today and you know just talking with her and just being able to just kind of like you know vibe with her i don't know what the other investors were like because she did meet with other investors today so i don't know exactly what they were like but i'm very confident in who i am and you know what i can offer and so you know it's really up to the seller as to what she wants to do ultimately so with that being said y'all i have all my notes here I never just dive straight into something without doing my research and doing my due diligence on anything because that leaves space for the seller to kind of like rebuttal and come at you with all kind of like stuff that you're not ready for. And I always want to be prepared for whatever. You always have to be prepared. You always have to have your everything lined up properly. So I have all my notes. So some things might sound a little like, you know, I'm not going to say scripted, but I'm just basically going to just give everything off of what I'm, you know, looking at on my computer. Because, you know, this is all just, like I said, it's business and it just has to make sense, period. Just just to give y'all some tea on what's going on here, just so y'all not confused. So, basically, um, the seller is asking, she's asking between 75 and 85 k for the property. Which is really not a lot of money, to be honest with you. And I don't want y'all to think like, oh, princess cheap or she just trying to lowball this lady or she ain't got no money, she broke. It's not that, it's just that with each and every property... Everything has to match up numbers wise as far as how much profit you can make on the back end. And so what I'm looking for is at least, at least 30%. Like, you got to need 30%. As an investor, that's what we look for. I also don't want y'all just to be confused throughout the whole process. Since I'm kind of like bringing y'all in into my little real estate world. I just want to get y'all to understand how this stuff works. Just in case y'all might be interested in trying to do it yourself. Or if y'all are <clears throat> already in the process of doing real estate and stuff like that. I just want y'all to get an understanding of how this works. So I'm just sharing my little first caller experience with y'all. I've had plenty of these in the past. Trust me. Plenty of these in the past. And you know, sometimes they go the way that you want. And sometimes they don't. Now there was another property that i was looking at which was way higher than this property i'm talking about like maybe like five times more than what this property is i can't get in touch with the owner and because the reason why i really really was going for that property specifically is because there was not a lot of work to be done i don't know if i have the time personally just the hands-on time to really focus on you know dealing with rehab or you know just dealing with all the you know just just trying to get the property fixed up so i was looking for something that was kind of like almost ready to go just kind of like a cash flow type of property but unfortunately i cannot reach the owner of that house and my assistant my, my assistant keeps calling keeps you know we keep sending emails and we're not getting any responses even though when she does call he always says oh you know just email me and it's I never get a response from the email so I don't know if he's he don't really seem motivated I want somebody that's motivated to sell me the house and this lady she's more motivated it's cheaper but it's a bigger project and so I kind of fear you know this project being kind of like dragged out because I don't really have a lot of time and I don't know if my contractors that I have here is going to really get the job done that I want to be done so that means that I have to look for more contractors I have to put in more you know um submissions to find new contractors so it's just a lot that's going to go into this property so it's like do you want to spend more of your money on 
getting it done or do you want to spend more of your time so that's kind of where i'm at with it so right now i'm just kind of like this property came through on me and i just i'm just gonna go for it so if i don't get it it's fine i'm just gonna go harder on finding something that met that matches more so my needs because i don't really need this property i just want it <laughs> you know what i'm saying i just want it you know i feel like you know i kind of accepted the fact that you know maybe i should just do a diy project and it's good for content purposes so i'm okay with that so with that being said, y'all, I'm not going to talk y'all ear off. Um, I just want to give y'all an idea of what I'm going through right now, what I'm looking at. So we're looking at 70, she wants between 75 and 85K. That's not going to happen with any of us. So I'm going to just be real with you and I'm going to let her know. Miss Elisa, you are not going to get that much for this property. I don't care what kind of investor you find. If they're from Mars, they ain't going to buy this property for that much because it just don't make sense in the numbers. It got to make sense on the numbers. If I'm not making no money, then what's the point i'm just helping you out I'm, I'm just i'm just you know shorting myself so she's looking at 75 85k so my number is based on my 30 percent profit it's putting me at about let me do the math again hold on y'all so the property fixed up is about it is the which we call arv which is after repair value so the after repair value is about one hundred and sixty thousand, just based on all the other properties that have sold in the area and you know just based on numbers that we put together um in the system it's about one hundred and sixty thousand. that's how much i can sell the property for once it's fixed up so one hundred sixty thousand, and then i have to add in my okay so my 30 percent so the repairs on this property is going to be between 40 and 50,000. Just just that's just what it's giving. It's giving 40 and 50,000. So I'm going to just put 40. So honestly, like I'm at I'm looking at around 62,000. She said that she got an offer for around 65,000 and she was like that was more so of a low ball offer. I'm really going to just kind of like kind of just like not really play with her mom but just kind of pick her brain a little bit just to kind of see like really how motivated is she and if she could really just go down more with me like because i'm really i can do 65 i mean 65 is comfortable but you know it's just i have to really be able to just sell this property you know i have to just sell this property so 65 could work and i might i can my my highest what they we call it a mao which is the maximum allowable offer would be sixty six thousand, and that's just only because i want to beat the last offer that she got which was sixty five thousand. i don't know what the investors told her today they was probably lowballing her all day today i don't know so i'm definitely going to ask her how was her day how did the other appointments go or whatever i just want to kind of see and hear where she's at with you know what the other people was offering just so i can kind of get an idea of okay maybe my offer might be too low or whatever um but I think at the end of the day, you know, it's more so it is about money, but sometimes it's about just the person liking you. And I feel like I said, I feel like I built a good relationship with her. Y'all, when it comes to business, like I'm a charm, like I know how to talk to people. I know how to get what I want. And, you know, we might just have a deal. So I'm just saying, like, y'all wish me luck. I'm about to call Miss Lisa and we're going to talk about everything. And y'all wish me luck. And yeah, I took my little spider legs off because what, what happened was... I had went I had my makeup done last week, y'all. I went on I went out on an event with um with, with Cat St. John. Miss Cat St. John, shout out to Miss Cat St. John, y'all. Oh my glasses is crooked. Yeah, so I went out last week and I had got my makeup done and um I had got some extension lashes put on top of my my actual mink lashes because a lot of them are going missing as y'all can see a lot of them are missing they're not full anymore so i put some more um on top of them and they were super super long and i didn't have time to go to the beauty supply store and buy anything that was lent towards these length to match this length so i had to go with these long and them, them lashes been sitting around this house for the longest i never use those lashes because i never go that long with my lashes i always like this length and i think this is like 25 millimeters or whatever 25 mm i usually like to stick around a 25 mm them had to be at least 35 40 mm and i like i said i never go that long they was picking on me in the comments talking about my little spidey legs my little spideys okay i can't take i can so i have my affirmations on my phone and it says what it say y'all i have amazing friends who are genuine and are always and are always there for me is what i meant to say but yes my friends are definitely genuine and are always there for me no matter what and vice versa i'm always there for my friends so it's never 
it's never given i just want all the attention like i seriously i give a lot of attention to my friends but anyway we talked about that in the last video i'm rambling but i'm about i'm just because i'm nervous All right, so I'm about to call her. We're gonna have a conversation. And I'm gonna put the camera right here just so y'all can like, I might move around a lot. Cause you know, when I get nervous a little bit, I have to like move around or whatever. So. Return to school updates. All right, y'all. I'm gonna just do this because I need I need some space. So I'm I'm gonna be real and raw with her at the same time, but I'm gonna definitely still be you know friendly and just. But I just wanna I want her to understand this process, and I just want her to know like I'm sure she knows the process. She says she's own she's own other properties or whatever. So sorry y'all. Hey, Miss Lisa. Yes, ma'am. How are you? This is Leah. Hey, I'm good. I'm good. You're good. That's good. How how did uh, everything go today after I left? Everything went good. I mean, I just was waiting really on your uh, what, what did you to see what you came up with. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. So yeah, this is the fun part. <laughs> So, um, I mean, I, of course, you know, I talked with my partner and everything and we definitely looked into everything as far as the numbers and just the area. Cause you know, the area is also a big factor in everything cause it is a growing area. So we okay. definitely consider that as a main thing, even though there is a lot of work that needs to be done on the property, we know that there's a lot of potential. So, mm -hmm. you know, with that being said, you know, I can't do top dollar for the property, but I still want to still kind of meet you in the middle. I know you said between 75 and 85K or whatever. As an investor, just to kind of give you an understanding of what we go for is we always kind of try to at least make 30% profit after we fixed it up and everything right. like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um... I just had a couple questions for you because I wanted to know, like, I know you, you're really trying to get rid of it. So I want to just try to, like, see if you consider other options just versus, you know, just doing going the investor route. Um, so I wanted to see, like, if you have you ever thought about, like, listing it with an agent? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> my, son is a, my son is an agent. Oh, really? Yeah, my son is a uh, yeah. He's a licensed agent right here in Houston. Oh uh, no, <laughs> this house, this this is my grandmother's house. I'm right. Here. Uh, I thought about keeping it. Like I said, if I can't get what I want for it, I'm just gonna do it. And flip, I flip houses in Baton Rouge. Right. I mean, I I know the game. I know you know. So that's what I was like. Uh, mm -mm, I'm not gonna listen with nobody. Uh -uh. Right. So I'm gonna do a quick sale. Yeah, because I, you know, even with agents, you know, you have to do commissions and sometimes you can't sell it right away. So it's, it's a lengthy process. Yeah, for sure. So I get what you're saying. Even with your son being an agent, I mean, I would assume that you go with him. But if if not, then it makes sense why you wouldn't go that route. Correct. Right. I mean, he's not going to charge me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that too. <laughs> and so he can list it. He can list it. You know, it's just, I'm not going to go with an agent. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a, a straight out sale. Right, right. So, um, so I want to see. Mm -hmm. What What were you saying? Mm -hmm. You were saying something. No, I was talking to my son. He was just walking out the door speaking to my son. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so I wanted to see, you know, and I, and I don't, and I don't want to disrespect you or anything like that. Um, but I definitely wanted to see, um, is 75K the absolute best you can do? No, I got a higher one today. Okay. Yeah, I did. I, I got to hire a Mexican guy. He, okay. Uh, he, he, um, he said he really wanted it or whatever, so he, he wanted a little higher than that. Huh? Okay. Yeah, okay. Said, yeah, I got it. I got it from today. 84. Yeah. yeah. Because I also had uh, my son, he works with his group of realtors, and uh, I had 
wanted them to uh, kind of like do a rundown for me on the house. Mm -hmm. Then she told me she um, she told me eighty four. Mm -hmm. You know that's what she did. Yeah, she's a she, her name is Renee West. She's, mm -hmm. she's kind of popular here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. That's what she told me um, roundabout in that in that area. Okay, got you, got you. So it sounds like you have some good offers on the table. <laughs> yeah, I do. And I'm just going to keep it real because I don't like to take, you know, nobody's time. Right, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I'm the same. And, you know, in, in everybody, you know, in, you know your lane. You know you know what you can do, and, and I understand, you know. So that's why I tell people just what to do. What you right yeah no i agree i agree i just wanted to kind of see where you were with everything you know because i definitely like i said i want to make everything fair for you as well because i understand the situation and i totally respect everything um but with that being said like i'm kind of around like the 70 75 area so but like you yeah. said yeah you have higher offers so i t i can totally understand that okay no problem <laughs> but i appreciate you know, your interest yeah, no problem. I I appreciate that as well. So I wish you the best in everything. You know, if anything changes, you can always give me a call. I sure will. Appreciate your call back. All right, you're welcome. You have a good day. You too. Okay, thanks. Bye bye. Bye. All right. So as y'all can see, I was a little nervous, a little sweaty on my face a little bit, but you know, I kind of figured because she was already telling me that she had a lot of you know offers on this property. And my assistant actually found this property for me. And it was crazy how it went because, like, my assistant, she called them and they didn't answer the phone. And then the husband, he actually called back. Um, he actually called back yesterday, even around this time. Yesterday, even around this time. And he left two voice messages. He called the first time. He left the voice message. was like, hey, give me a call back. Then he called back again. It was like, hey, give me a call back. Da, da, da. But my assistant wasn't available. So, like, what happened was all of the calls that come through, if my assistant is unavailable, which she was off work at the time, she'd get off at, like, 1 o'clock. So, like, my sister wasn't available so all the calls come to like the email they're like voice messages so they all forward to the email so i'm just listening listening to all their voicemails whatever and he sounded super motivated so i was like you know what let me call me and flo we was like call them back they seem like they're really ready to get rid of this house so when i talked to him he was like call my wife call my wife she ready to sell she ready to sell the house i'm like okay so i called and immediately she was like let's meet because i you know when i talked to her that's when yesterday y'all saw the video when i called her yesterday she didn't answer and i was like well, i'm gonna text her but then um she she called back she wasn't available so she ended up calling me back and so she's like let me let's meet tomorrow she told me that you know the lease offer she got was like 65k or whatever the case may be and then um she called me back you know she was like let's meet tomorrow at around 10 o'clock in the morning so i met her this morning i saw the house and you know it was it was i just noticed immediately it needed a lot of work and i just and i in my heart i felt like no investor is going to want to do this but when she said the mexican guy offered her 84k off top i knew i'm like hmm, he's mexican he's probably gonna do all the work himself so that means that you know it, it's kind of like a win-win for him because he don't have to hire contractors he he can just buy all the all the you know all the labor i mean he could just buy all the materials and just do the labor himself he don't need to hire nobody else yeah. that's kind of like where everything kind of turns because if you can't do the work yourself you have to pay contractors you have to pay for the materials you have so that's where the whole repair costs come in and i was at like 40 50k for repair costs so i mean this deal wouldn't have had made sense being that i had so much competition but it's whatever i got a lot of deals on the table i'm gonna look into i'm definitely gonna be looking into way more properties um my assistant um tomorrow she works from i think she works from nine to one so she's gonna be bringing me a lot more leads tomorrow and just following up with some more uh other like property owners or whatever whatever the case may be but miss lisa was definitely nice i i loved her energy um she didn't make this process hard at all usually when you're talking to sellers they're assholes i ain't gonna lie a lot of them are assholes because they they feel like they know everything they feel like they know what their properties worth and then, you know, they feel like they can go, you know, they go on Google or go on Zillow or Trilly or whatever. And they feel like since they see the number, that number is stuck in their head. But really, these numbers is not based on what it's actually worth. You know what I'm saying? 
I mean, I kind of figured, like I said, she had, she wanted to hear what I had to say, which I respect that. Like y'all heard her say, she was like, I wanted, I was waiting on to hear from you because I did have other offers. She was waiting to hear from me. And maybe she thought that I was going to offer her something higher, but you know, she just really wanted to hear what I had to say. And I appreciate her for being patient with that whole thing because you know sometimes when you ain't got a lot of time because she's only here until sunday so she really want to get a contract in and get that going now things can change that's why i say if anything changes give me a call back because things can change this this mexican guy might not really have the funds available i got funds available i'm ready to go so this this contractor i mean this mexican guy might not have funds available. I mean, I'm not to say that he broke or whatever, but sometimes, you know, when you're dealing with properties in real estate, you need lenders. You have things that, you know, that has it's a step by step process that you have to go through before you get funding. And so, you know, um, it might be a situation where he might not have funding. He might only have the money just for the rehab costs. And, you know, it might take him more than 30 days to get everything in line and she might run impatient she might be like oh man it's taking too long i can't do this no more i'm gonna just go with old girl because she seemed like she was more ready and so that's when it just kind of like falls in my lap and you know i mean hopefully by then i have another property under my belt but if not you know i'm always willing to you know work something out with her or pass it on to somebody else that i know because i know plenty of investors in this game that would love to jump on a property like this so you know that's just what it is i'm i appreciate y'all for just like staying here with me if y'all watched it to this far let me know comment below let me know if y'all watched it this far because i'm dropping gems i'm letting y'all know a lot of what i go through in the business world of my life the business aspect of my life and um and yeah, so just just drop some comments below. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know what y'all if y'all are in business or real estate. Let me know what I what I could have done better if I should have more so pushed the deal or if I should have just did what I did. Um, like I said, I'm not desperate for deals. I have deals coming to me every day. It's just really what makes sense for me. Um, and at the end of the day, I like building. I like building relationships. I feel like to me, relationships is more important than sometimes money. It just depends on the situation. But for me, because, you know, I'm not hurting for money or I'm not desperate for money, I feel like building a good, solid relationship is more important than money. You know what I'm saying? And that goes as far as social media, cloud, all that. I don't care about none of that stuff. I just want to build a good, solid relationship with you. If I can trust you, then I can do business with you. That's how I look at it. So... Anyways, I hope y'all learned a lot from this video. Like I said, if you're looking to do real estate, comment below. Um, if y'all enjoyed this video, if y'all want to see more videos like this, let me know. And I will see y'all in my next video. Pretty girl, pretty girl game. Pretty girl, pretty girl game. If you wanna bet and don't get a bag, then you cannot sit with us. Let me hear you say. Pretty girl, pretty girl game. Pretty girl, pretty girl game. If you don't spend cash, then don't grab a glass, but you cannot sit with us. Let me hear you say. Pretty girl, pretty girl Pretty girl gang, 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 gang. All of my girls stay pretty. Got a couple of them that yeah. stay with.